Hey right, guys, what's up? Cat here with the Simplified Life. This is Let Go with Luna for the new moon in Sagittarius, December 12th, 2023, at about what 3 32 p.m. Pacific. <laughs> All right, we feeling feisty today. Um, I'm on my moon, Google it. This is a new moon, <laughs> and you may have seen the news and the world and maybe we could all wake up a little faster that would be awesome but that's a whole different video right so let's jump into this one as always we're going to do the main themes of this new moon how that applies to your house and your simplifying projects and then we'll do a tarot pull we'll get you in and out of here probably in under 10 minutes sound good so the themes this is clean slate as always with a new moon but especially in winter so even though full moons and new moons always have a, a similar thing you know culmination clean slate uh their time of year also impacts how they impact us and we are heading full speed into winter we are i guess we have a fly friend again again this one hi little spirit dude stay there dead yet <laughs> so a winter new moon especially this one the last one of the year this clean slate heading into january into the depths of winter into the cold time this is when we are asked especially with sagittarius we are implored to have faith to trust where do you want to be next year how can you speak that into existence because if it's in here it is already existing we're just not seeing it out here right and the thing about Sagittarius they're the visionaries they're the wisdom keepers they're they as a visionary think about it you have a vision you're not seeing it you're not like I have a a widget you're like no I have a vision it's not concrete yet but they are able to see that vision into fruition, to create it, to make it real. And that is what we are being asked to do. We're being asked to set the stage with this new moon, this clean slate, the Sagittarius visionary power in having that faith and having that trust that what we envision at this time is going to be made tangible in the coming year. So just generally, what do you need to let go of? What do you need to stop thinking about, talking about, words or spells? What do you want to vision? What do you want to bring forth into this next year? And then in your home, <laughs> I, just, I wrote down, God, Allah, Buddha, spaghetti monster, doesn't fucking matter. Just have faith. <laughs> whatever that looks like to you, whatever part of that elephant you're holding on to, the test, the tail, they all feel different, but they're all part of the same thing. What do you have to do to have that faith, especially in your home? Because we see all these damn makeover shows, right? And it's better. Or you watch my makeover moon day posts and it's better. <laughs> but what you don't see is the months or years it took to get to that spot. And then the weeks or months it took to clean out that spot and even years at times. So whatever you need to lean on to have faith in this coming year that is outside of yourself, and I implore even the staunchest atheists among us to be open to something being different or bigger. What can you have faith in? So another important thing is that whatever you believe, you're right. You know, it's the whole crux of the whole, the secret law of attraction, manifestation, whatever. But think about it whatever you believe you're right before the four minute mile no one believed they could do a four minute mile so they didn't except for the one dude that's like oh, i'm gonna do a four minute mile and then he did and then guess what everyone else did four minute miles right after that <laughs> so whatever you think you're right so why don't you get about thinking that next year you're gonna do the things so what are they what does that look like in your house this isn't necessarily a time of action as we close out this year we're in winter we can rest but we can start to create it up here because once we start creating it here it begins to come forth out here they did a study on uh kids doing or people playing the piano and they had them do 
scales, sorry, I'm doing scales just down here. Um, they were doing scales and then they recorded the new neural pathways that were made by these non-piano players practicing these scales. Then they had another group mentally do the scales in their mind. They didn't move their fingers. They just mentally did them. Guess who had the same neural pathways? So on a biological level, <laughs> same as on a spiritual level, what we work on here becomes real. <laughs> it becomes concrete. And then what else? I want you to write out a list of 10 things you did do this year. Okay? Things you did do. That could be as simple as, hey, I got up every day. <laughs> you know, we'll take what we can get. Um, one thing for me, that was doing these videos. Uh, I've been on here since May. I'll get into that in the next point. But that's something that was pretty big for me because this was something, having something regular on YouTube, even if it wasn't often, was something I really wanted to do, but had always just, you know, kind of talked about, didn't really do. So what we want to do is write out that list, 10 things you did. And maybe that was you finished school. You didn't get fired at your job, even though you wanted to cuss your boss out. Uh, you kept your family fed. You kept yourself fed. You kept yourself housed. You finished writing a book. You finished reading books. You finished whatever. But just write down some stuff you've actually completed and done just to prove to yourself, hey, the things I think about and the things that I want to do, I can actually do. Because maybe your house doesn't look like a HGTV before and after and an after right now. Maybe it's still a before, but I bet there are things you did accomplish. And so we want to just show ourselves out here. Oh, I, I can accomplish things I think about. And then finally, we want to decide. That was the point I wanted to make with these videos. I decided I was going to show up here every two weeks. And it wasn't for the likes. It wasn't for the views. It wasn't for fame and fortune, <laughs> it was to do something consistently because that has never been my strong suit. Pisces here, Scorpio rising. And I've accomplished a lot. I've written a book. I've written a movie. I've filmed and shot and got all that stuff with the movie, like whatever. Um, I graduated college. Like I have done a lot of things, but they have all been kind of procrastinated last second, no real discipline. Um, ADHD is fun, <laughs> but I wanted to show myself I could do something consistently and show up. And trust me, this little baby muscle I've been working since last May is going to help me with the stuff that I want to do next year. Okay. But it came down to deciding because once we decide who we are, then we get busy being it, right? So if you decide that you're an organized person who's going to show up every day and you're going to declutter one item, guess what? You're going to be an organized person that shows up every day and declutters one item. But if you're like, I'm just not, I'm not organized. I'm a mess, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? You're going to stay being a mess. Our words are spells. So to reiterate, whatever you believe you're right, you have done things, write down some of the things you've completed so you can prove that to yourself and then just decide in your home in this coming year, decide you're going to show up for yourself. And again, it is as simple, not easy, but as simple as deciding that every single day you're going to declutter one item. You will be so far ahead <laughs> this time next year, you won't even believe it. You won't even recognize your place because it snowballs and it creates a ripple effect in all of our other activities. Okay, we're gonna do a tarot pull. We're gonna get out of here. We're almost at 10 minutes. Why's my deck all fucked up? All right, anyway. All right, we wanna go with that one? Yeah, we do. The sun on a moon day. I enlighten this. I'm filming this on Monday, on moon day. I enlighten someone today. I was like, you know, the moon comes from moon, like lunes, martes, all the Latin languages and Sundays after the sun. <laughs> They're like, wait, what? <laughs> Go educate thyself. Um, anyway, the sun. This is the energy we're going into that this next couple weeks with, okay? The sun is shining. You can do it. Whatever you think up here, you're right. So 
So just let this light shine on. Let it illuminate because also new moons are just where have we been limiting ourselves? Where are our shadows? So let the sun illuminate all of those shadows. Um, where have you been talking shit to yourself? Where have you been negative? Where have you believed you just can't do it? And guess what? If you believe you can't do it, you're right. Told you we're feisty today. Oh, fuck's the sun. Come here. Here we are. Huh. Vitality enlightenment. Imagine for a moment that you're soaking in the warm rays of the sun. It feels nourishing and healing. All your aches and pains just fade away. The sun card brings this amazing energy into your life. Vitality and health abound. While you feel assurance and clarity in all you do. Spend some extra time outside today. Be grateful for the radiance of the sun and the life force it gives all creatures. I love that. While you feel assurance and clarity in all you do. And if you're feeling like, fuck, that's just not possible, actually go outside because it's also in the winter, part of this whole sad thing, you know, seasonal affective disorder. We're not touching the ground. We got our shoes on. We're all bundled up. We're not touching nature. It's cold. It's rainy. We're not going outside. Like, go outside. <laughs> we need nature. Bring a plant in. Do something so that you are connected. We are not meant to be isolated. So, all right, that's all I got. We're at 11 minutes. Love you, bye.